Are you in Are fashion? You in fashion. Fashion. fashion week. In fashion. Let's see what she's wearing for Tom's shoes. I'm Sonia Sly. My heels are killing me. I'm going to take you behind the scenes of New Zealand Fashion Week. Um, but I was told I have a backstage pass. You will need to get the right pass to get behind me, Pam. Look, I'm I need sorry. to go. Code red, code red, code. We have a situation. We're going beyond the air kisses and bloggers taking outfit shots and numerous selfies with their fashion BFFs. Oh my god. Girl. To talk about what's hot and what's best forgotten. Hey, so it's day two of New Zealand Fashion Week and I'm hanging out here at the Viaduct Event Centre with Vlad Teaching. That is me, bad wears good. We've just come out of the French 83 show, which was a menswear collection. What did you think? I thought it was great, actually. I, um, I like some of, some of the silhouettes. Um, and, you know, it's very hard to do something different in a formal menswear. They seem to, to be doing the right thing. Like, for example, I've noticed that um, the lapels on one of the jackets, they were lower. You know, the, the, the cut of the lapel, which is usually quite high to the collarbone, it was somewhere around the, the chest which was, uh, I, I thought, I've never seen um, this kind of silhouette of the lapel before, so I think it, it was interesting. Again, it's very hard to do something, you know, mind-blowing in, in a cla classic formal wear, just because it's so, you know, strict and the rules are quite, you know... Narrow, uh, in a way? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why it's well, formal wear, you know, yeah. it's, that's why it's not casual wear. Well, but they did. They had blazers, so chinos with like boat shoes and you know, like a printed t shirt. I liked it was like a printed like bomber jacket with matching pants. Yeah, I thought, you know. yeah that was cool. Talking about the casual part of the collection, I, I thought it was quite beautiful. Some of the pieces are quite interesting. It wasn't like a quir quirky kind of catwalk type of fashion that is something a regular guy might wear, you know, which yeah. was, I think, I liked it. Yeah. I, I, I would like to, to see how much these garments cost, you know, <laughs> and maybe yeah. buy some of them. I actually came out of that thinking, I wish I was a guy. Yes. Like, I was actually inspired by what I saw, you know, like just playing with hem lengths and I mean, there's a different range. It's almost like you could go through the decades and sort of pick out which elements have kind of taken, I don't know, like I sort of thought I saw something that was, was kind of referenced in the 1940s. Or... Yeah, if, if we're talking about a man's suit, the fashion's been circling around for, you know, years and years. Some of the parts of, um, of, of the, you know, the construction of a proper blazer, they come and go. And uh, yeah, some of them were, um, you know, from the 40s. Like, for example, this, I really like this simple outfit with um, high-waisted pants with pleats. I think it was short sleeve shirt with the shawl collar. That was Aww. very beautiful. Um, and just the way you say that as well, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it like poetry, it, right? Well, it does. I mean, it builds a picture. The designer was brave enough to to dance around the, the formal wear, men's formal wear rules, but she definitely had her own, you know, understanding and her own view of how the men, you know... Of how, today should look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love menswear. Me too. Me too. I wear it every day. <laughs> they actually lined up the models, so the models brought out chairs and they actually had them sitting in a yes. lineup, which was yes. really cool. I don't know what it looked like at the end of the photography I was, pit, I but... was actually really concerned about the guys taking the proper space between the chairs because it's very hard. Some, one of the guys put the chair a little bit further away and I was like, you're doing a bad <laughs> job, mate. But I like the fact that they brought, you know, all the chairs were different. Um, like chairs are the hot new accessory, right? So I'm, cool. I'm thinking about, you know, getting one and like just casually browse around Fashion Week, yeah. you know, with a chair. <laughs> That's what old people do. They bring their chairs yeah. with them. Any type of chair goes, basically, right? It's, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I mean, it's a funny old thing, right, because it, for that particular show, I don't know, I sort of feel like already it's one of the standouts. We've seen two this morning, so the first one was Salasai, yeah. which is men's and women's wear, which was also in an installation, and then 
which um, I really like. That was a cool show. Apparently, um, they worked with, they collaborated with this um, architecture firm. They built this construction of, you know, white panels and stuff. And I think it was one of the good, interesting moments of the catwalk in particular, the fact that they were going inside this kind of rib cage. Yeah. That was really cool. Um, I even called it the rib cage of fashion. Yes, and then uh, apologize for a shitty caption on my Instagram. Right. They stand um, almost like framed and, and sort of empty yeah. window frames as well. Yeah. So oh, I don't know, there's something about an installa a fashion installation oh, that I, I can't help but love. Because it actually gives you t a chance to have really a look at them. Have a real hard, long look at the models Absolutely. standing there. And it's kind of almost confrontational. Like, you know, if you've got your camera there, yeah. they they look at you so that you, you yeah, can get a good and you can like wink at them and they'll wink back <laughs> now they won't so you know that was that was a show where we all stood around and i think there was a potential that we all could have like walked around but everybody was pretty static and just yeah. stood and some people probably sat but i mean do you like that idea that you know there's a bit of playing around with how the Ab audience interacts absolutely uh, for example <laughs> i was working around, i was working around the french um, 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 83 show because I wanted to make a, a better shot, and I was told off by by one of the one of the you Volunteer. know girls that you shall never move, and and also you put your camera too high. This this is disrespecting. So I said I'm sorry. Yes, it won't happen again. But uh, I like the idea at um, at Salisbury. I enjoyed this kind of you know vibe of intimacy. <laughs> I reckon that the, the designers might have had the vision that we could probably walk around, you know, and actually that people might start moving around yeah. the installation. But because it was so intimate, like I wanted to get to the other side to, to take some photos and I just actually felt too scared. And you kind of don't want to go, you know, <laughs> tottling around in heels to the well, other side. Wasn't, well, it wasn't a problem for me. I, mm -hmm. I was moving around a lot. Okay. Harman Grubisher <laughs> opened yes. last night. What did you think? Because, you know, just quietly, it, there were mixed reactions. Uh, first of all, I really like what they do. Uh, I really enjoyed their, their last year year's collection. <laughs> it was really beautiful and soft. and um, Really feminine and, and, and elegant. And, yes, and also, if I can use this dull word, luxurious, you know, it was like a very relaxed kind of luxury this last year collection this year it was at least my impression was that the there was some inconsistency with the way the models looked what were dressed and the music the soundtrack was quite I'm not sure what they were trying to achieve with that but I didn't get it whatever they were trying to yeah. achieve to to my taste there, there was supposed to be a different kind of soundtrack maybe even something you, you know a bit darker a bit there were no consistency i guess again i'm no no expert this is my just just my impression on on what i've seen so Last year was their first show, and they did it in the tent, which was yeah. a much more intimate space. Yeah. So you actually felt like you were right there with them. You could see the garments up close. There was kind of a linear or a, a really a much tighter kind of story. What I think is that uh, the show itself, the clothes were better than organization of the show. The okay. perception of the show is, you know, the, the whole think, catwalk thing. I think people wanted to see more, something kind of bigger in terms of a presentation. Maybe. Mm. What is it that you love about Fashion Week? Why do you what care? I, <laughs> Why do you care? <laughs> what I like about Fashion Week, you know, we have it once a year and uh, all these true fashionistas, they just, um, you know, wait for this kind of event and they they feel so good in here and and you feel and you see some some of the some of those people who are really enjoying being there you know and who've, being themselves i reckon the, themselves or and whatever they, they want to project you know yeah, it's maybe. um anyway it's very entertaining to to observe and uh, that's why i'm taking a lot of pictures um and posting it on my instagram i think it's a cool event i i definitely think that 
it's it's good for the city it's good for for New Zealand in general and it's definitely not the end in in the progression of of this event I mean like for you as a guy because you run a menswear blog yeah how relevant is this to you and for you I mean we we've seen a couple of uh, menswear collections already um, and uh, they're gonna be some more definitely you could see um, you could see some interesting designs and uh, you, maybe ideas it's definitely cool for me as a as a blogger um, to to see the people around to shoot backstage with uh, with those shows because um, when you're backstage and you see those beautiful models dressed in those beautiful you know clothes uh, but they behave like normal human beings and not like and some of them those... are really young as well so they are actually, so you can you, you can... really see that the, this is a 16 year old high school girl because they're all like exactly <laughs> exactly and you can see the 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 true nature behind all this you've been listening to my heels are killing me i'm sonia sly to find out more or to listen again, head to our podcast page on the rnz.co.nz website.